watch it with y'all want to watch, bro. What's this? Okay, this is fire. I fuck with these type of videos. Tommy G. I remember, I think, Kui's linked me like a, a goddamn St. Louis one. This one could... This, this tough. Watch gay twerking video. All right, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy G. Boots on the ground in the most dangerous city in America, St. Louis, Missouri. Real D, you in here with that f***ing man. Wait, watch this. You need it. Around four months ago, I decided to quit social media for good. Delete everything. Delete TikTok. <laughs> Real deal. Just me. Chow. You right now. Four stars. All right, 24 mile. This is where I go down it. This is out of town. Each year, I make a trip to the most dangerous city in America. Shit, you guys fucking got your after school projects here, huh? On a quest to speak with local residents and try and understand what it's like growing up in such a wild place. I once again find myself in St. Louis, Missouri, which one news source says is the city with the highest homicide rate in the world outside of Mexico. Today, prosecutors charged a man with murder for killing someone execution style in downtown St. Louis. Morning, what is execution style? What is that? Identify and find five teens. They are wanted for questioning in last week. Oh my week God. Fucking duh. The weekend, the violence raises concern about downtown St. Louis. From 3 o'clock Saturday afternoon until 3 o'clock Sunday morning, there were 639 calls for service. Take a look at the video of armed young people leaving a downtown loft yesterday morning. Another man openly carrying a gun in the downtown area. He just glanced up at the helicopter, back around to the vehicle, which was on the run and on the move once again. Oh, I can one. tell thugs My and gangbangers be having daily drive-bys with a great cool aid in the car. Yo, DJ, bro, I hope you black saying this. The lullaby of gunshots in the distance every night. Wow. In traveling to cities like Chicago, New York, LA, Philly, I can say without a doubt that I see the craziest amounts of guns I've ever seen so far in the trenches of St. Louis. I even saw kids that looked like they were 10 or 11 toting automatic weapons. Today, Yo. we tap in with St. Louis locals making a name for themselves. First, we head to Mo P's Hood. He's a rapper putting up impressive numbers on YouTube. He sounds like this. Wiping the cocaine off my Mary's. The remains of what got book is coming in so quickly. Business men calling my phone. How you know the digits? They trying to come with it. Piece of 16 and they in the trenches. And then we yeah. head to entrepreneur Heavy G's block. This He's known in the city stick for the robbing people, buddy. That shit was trash. And the world's most expensive lemonade. How much do these cost? $25. This cost $25. Yes. Join me as I hit the streets and look for answers. If I ever pay $25 for a drink, please just, just shoot me. Yeah. We're here in the outskirts of St. Louis. Before we get into the trenches in the most dangerous city in America, let's talk to the folks that live here and see what they think about it. So St. Louis has been ranked as the most dangerous city in America for the second year in a row. Does that surprise you? No. 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 It doesn't because I know the stat. I don't like it nor do I agree with it. We lost our mob a long time ago, which controlled the gangs. Our gangs have taken over. Are you a mother? Thanks, Andre. And you Man, I want to watch the prompt. Your kids in St. Louis. Bro, please don't raid me. Please don't raid me. Please don't raid me. RJ, no. Please don't raid. Oh. Yo. <laughs> thank you for the raid, man. Appreciate it. Legit. This is my city, St. Louis. You from St. Louis? Oh, that's what's up, man. Yo, No Limit J with the raid. Appreciate you, man. Notice how it's always our just... people's struggles being used for content, but they can't realize because of their fried chicken brains. Uh, yeah. I love legit. <laughs> Thank you for that raid, Jay, man. I was just going to get off and go to YouTube and fucking do monkey app, but I guess I got to stay on here for a little bit longer. I love legit. Pre Yo, thank y'all boys all for the follows. BSH Chip. I love legit. Oh, who is live seven? Galaxy Unknown. What's going on, I Jenna? Uh, Gal uh, TGZ. Yo, appreciate all y'all boys for the follow. I love legit. You're famous, chill. No Limit Gang. Appreciate you, Jay, for that raid, man. I, I appreciate legit. it. TGZ3, thank you for that follow. Goofy Man3835, thank y'all, bro. Appreciate you, Jay. Appreciate you. I raised my kids in the county area like this. Thank y'all for the like follows, man. Appreciate it. Bought it? No, I just got raided, buddy. Goofy man, 3835 with a follow. Appreciate I you, my legit. brother. J Boom, Bob Jeremiah, Kai Universe. Appreciate y'all, man. Legit. legit is Hollywood now, bro. What? I love legit. Yo, thank y'all for the follows, man. Kai Universe, I thank you, bro. Legit. We on some chill. Bro, stop, Jenzo. I was just chilling, you know what I'm saying? We just got off I the game. Legit. Bro, turn on some Bronx shit. Request it. 
scary. If you were mayor, what would you do? Or if you had a message to the mayor, what would you say? A hundred people left, good. I don't left, care, left bro. And right. I, 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 I literally have my viewer count hidden, bro. Like, why do you care more than me about my viewer count? Fucking plushy world, you cringe. You know what? You know what? Because this little nigga's pissing me off, bro. This little fucking troll, he's been, he's been on this shit all stream. Look, he's like, I'm not like, oh my god, niggas like you, bro. Look at this little cringe ass kid, bro. Look at this little cringe ass kid. Look at this little nigga. I love legit. Show me. Huh? Like, just look at you, bro. Like, it's okay if y'all make jokes. Oh my god, like, I would, like, I just, nigga, if I, I would just, oh my god, nigga. Niggas like you, yo little ass, you piss me off, nigga. You go through his logs, he's sitting here trolling me all stream. A hundred viewers left, coily, boring, get it, like, leave then, nigga. Oh my god. Alright, let's finish this video, though. I was low-key indulged in this, uh, St. Louis video. You're so rude, I'm sorry, man. Keep them on track. No, I'm reacting right now, uh, 24. all about support for the, for the youth. And I think that that's where we need to start having more activities for the youth. When I was growing up, it was a lot more things to do. In the last two years, 5% of the population of St. Louis has left. Why do you think that is? More opportunity. Yes. We're, we're about to meet with I bet, Congo. Raptor that has a ton of guns on them. How do you reach those guys? You got to give them a better upbringing. I mean, you got to give them something to look forward to. That's kids looking at them like they're, they're heroes, you know? Once we focus on the youth, then we will be able to make the, a difference in the, the future <laughs> as a whole. Stay focused. The fuck Stay you got positive. that on your head for if your hair's popping out? It just lays the, the inside down. I had a do-rag on, but I uh, took it off, man. You look like speed. Bro, no, I do not. And try to keep keep the idle mind going. I don't know what they go through. I don't know why they're doing what they're doing. And I am not a smart enough person to be able to help. Stay away from us. <laughs> You're getting a little crazy. You gotta protect yourself out there. So the sponsor of today's video. Alrighty, buddy. Let's go ahead and. It took five. The worst is available for children's size. For you, your Cody. Stay uh, safe. Can we get on Roblox already? Maybe later. I gotta get. A, I gotta get on Monkey out tonight, bro. It's already gonna be one. You look at places like this, and is it really that surprising that things are crazy here? You have to think about the mentality of starting out in this spot. I'm not excusing this behavior. I'm not saying killing each other is okay. Look over here. <laughs> chip, chip. Oh I'm my god. I'm growing up in absolute destruction. How did things get to this? What happened? You just can not nah, Forgiato. We are tiptoeing on trend. They just sent a better deal. Tell the people what to expect from this area. What goes down? A galaxy. A lot goes down. A lot of these guys, man, they they younger, so perform a little bit more eager to do the crimes. Kind of, I don't want to say it like that, but they're more reckless. More young. reckless. That's a better way to work. Have you ever been in a video shoot and a shootout happened? And I've been there where they just been shooting. Maybe they was trying to scare the artists off the block or something. They just start letting off shots. So I've been, I've literally had footage running with the camera, hearing the gunshots. Been crazy, man. This is the type of area that every single car that passes, uh, you gotta watch out for. My main man. Okay. Good to meet you, man. Story tell. This is a real spitter. You want a bar spitter that goes bar for bar every single song he makes. This is <laughs> he guy. look at him in his eyes like that. Here we are right, now. right now, we really in the middle of the horseshoe. They carry the dipset for real. 5500 for real, for real. We got some motherfuckers coming down, goddamn me. This it feels shit. slightly sketchy. Like, it feels like things could pop off at any moment in a place That's St. Like Louis for you. I ain't gonna fake a real deal. Everybody trying to be okay. a tap. What do you love about What's St. What's a tap? Louis? What is a tap, guys? Yo, please, you're from St. Louis. What is a tap? That's some good lingo. I gotta upgrade my vocabulary, man. Like I heard some niggas say Jahim. That's a that's a that's a that's a fire word, man. Get off my Jahim, nigga. A little he said St. Louis, Louis look dirty as fuck. Like, oh, no out of town or nothing. I little everything about my city from the food to the cars we drive to the phases we go through, all type of shit. You got the shoes with the tags still on them. Is that a toothbrush? Bro, give that off? shit up. Oh my god, it is 2023. Why do niggas still do this? And they be wearing pants with the tag on them still too. Look like that every time, everywhere. 
So what's the mission? What's the plan right now? Like, what are you trying to do in this city? Get signed for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Be another Nelly. Like, I'm trying to be better than Drake. And when you uh, that's not happening, buddy. Plans, let's just say you got ten million dollars <laughs> in the bank right now. What's your plan? Four, five million going dead on my route. And the other million, I'm gonna get a game some shit so they can have money cycling in. There. One really important thing as an American that we have a right to is the right to bear arms. How important is that in this city? Bro, I feel like at a very young age, bro, parents should be teaching their kids to how to use guns like you should be able to at any age to teach your kid how to use a gun like that's what they should be teaching in school mm -hmm. not dumb ass shit that we not gonna see when we get up out of here you know what percent no, of people out here you think have a gun realistically 90 percent everybody got a gun but like what know? should be the requirements to fucking get a gun because then you're gonna have them them school shooters who like everyone if everyone has access to it nigga people gonna die bro it's the mentally insane school shooters that kill people for no reason like what should be the requirement in order to be able to get a gun you said real shit nah school is useless though low-key it just sucks out all your creativity it's so boring Fake you never held a gun in your life tell me about how you grew up what was your childhood like how'd you get to facts rj are now? regular childhood it's on some st louis shit i grew up my granny for real on some little cool shit she ended up passing away to cancer and shit after that shit the nigga was by herself that was at like 12 years old for real so, so you had I no parents and no grandma from the time you were 12. yeah right? for real if we elected you mayor of st louis what would you do to make the city better stronger safer it really starting the heart of the community for real. You Germ, make a little change touch in me, one nigga. community, motherfuckers need to actually be hands on with shit. Like get their hands dirty with niggas who. 2.0 GPA or higher to have a gun, so you and your people <laughs> don't make the cut, unfortunately. <laughs> Yo, this Big nigga is man, funny, bro. Man, for real. To me, a lot. Of I'm banned from SDL, bro. I already been down there. I ain't had to check in, nigga. I got the key to the city, bitch. Right now, it's almost just like for thrill seeking. Kids are bro. I actually graduated with like a 3.8, nigga. So I don't know what you talking about. Trying to do things for the thrill of it. Yeah, like motherfuckers really want that rush. You got to think like motherfuckers sit at the crib all day on Instagram. That's real as f motherfucker. Like I want to do what they doing. That's hella real. Gentlemen, I'm gonna need some help breaking down some St. Louis yeah. slang. I just heard yeah, tapper. Okay. Help me use it in tap. a sentence properly. Be like, what's the word tap? You know, word tap? Oh me, Fred dear, I'm God. You about to tap some shit today? I'm God. Hey, what you Tommy tap? Which one? G tap? Tommy tap? Which one? G tap. Oh my mama, <laughs> nigga, we got G tap in this motherfucker, nigga. Oh God, Fred. real deal. My soul. What's, What's the, the word? word? I hear people say, "God damn me." God damn God me. God on God. God damn me. On God. Swear to God. Swear to God. Huh? Was that bad? Bo P started getting agitated, grabbed his strap, and ran towards the street. So I figured bad things were about to happen. But nope, just another day in St. Louis. <laughs> Good, Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Them little monsters. Oh God. Tie your ass up. Are you guys in middle school or high school? I'm in high school. Okay. So we talked to people in high school? of St. Louis before we came here. Now die is still die? What the fuck is that? Street. The violence is becoming too much. What do you think about those, what those people are saying? Cap. That's a cap, yeah. bro. Cause don't nothing happen to nobody that's just stand out the way. So basically you gotta have your hands dirty to have things happen. Nah, cause you could be a bystander and get hit. If you I wanted like to buy a gun, how easy would it be to find one and how much do I gotta pay? It's Ooh, easy You can buy this right motherfucker right now, full state. It's all good. <laughs> What's the average age a kid touches their first gun around here? Bro, I was hella young playing with guns on God, bro. This generation, bro, like, me and my partners graduated. I ain't gonna fake it. Like, all the other shit, that shit killed. Was graduating important to you? Damn right. I ain't gonna fake it. I don't know who Cam or Yo P is. Like, that was a big thing on, on my list. Like, I had to graduate. That, we finna go to the little place where I shot shit out there. Come on, tell. Yo, YNSJ Boo, thank you for that follow. He watching all the perimeters. Now, Kobe, this is a good ass video, bro. Appreciate you. First game here? Yeah. So the Bloods came here, set up shop. When was that? Like the 1960s? Late 80s, beginning of the 90s. From an outside perspective, it makes me sad to see. You messing with me? No, I oh god. Certified Trapper did that to me during our interview where he fake go like this just to try and get my reaction. Um You see some shit or what? No, that's my little brother is bad. Oh, okay. Little Bapiani team. Like about to go Navy SEAL mode on now. Oh uh, yeah, him, yeah, Cap. The, the numbers of deaths, it makes me really sad to see because there's what I see is a lot of young men that have potential that never got to live that potential out. Mo, you got any bars for us? Alright, alright, alright. Look at my glizz, look at bro glizz, and they both came from smacking. 
We hit the south in different wheels cause we just swapped the traffic. Put dude ass on VLTP comes under and say what happened to him. Ain't heard from when last we seen got hit this shit no more. Look, they cover up they ears. Max speeds on the flyway, make them think it's task, they watch they murders. Max suppress don't murder. Bro got button C crowd trying to clear him. One deep Drake with 60 think I'm fearless. That tough guy act the sickness, luckily Drizzy a cram. Chasing shit, booking fat ass guns with built up my endurance. Burn them car, know we got some stupid, they say fast and free. GT stinker, no key USB won't see it for you hurry. Taz pick me up, show different time, say what you been doing during the McDonald's is hiring. I can't even spell my name if y'all was curious. Little bro snatched scat pack off the lot, wrapped on the way back, stirring. Oh god, my mama. Jeez. Okay, so one thing you said in that song, who is Taz? That's what we call um, Bro, my hey, OCD every... is pissing me off. This little fucking face cam, I can't move it and I see. Hey, like, 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 it's not all the way up. Type of call you rolled in, it's just pissing me off. Hit. I got some questions to ask you. Yes, yes, yes. First impression. The fucking real deal. Tell. Real deal. My soul. A lot of people say drill music is to blame for all the violence in the cities. What do you think about that? Bro, drill music is just where a motherfucker feeling when they going through the jungle, bro. Real deal, bro. You can't blame a motherfucker. Do you feel like you have a, a positive impact on the world? <laughs> yeah. A tapper is a motherfucker who don't get no and they really trying to be they self for real. People can listen to music and it's up to you what you want to do with it. I can listen to your song and I can go lift weights. I can listen to your song when I'm on a road trip. I can listen to your song and beat the shit out of somebody. We all have the choice of what oh, we man. do once we listen to the song. Oh, man. Did you ever get scared of any of you guys shooting your dick off when Thank you that follow the Dre the Beast 101? There's some uh, Cheer the Bob ass shit. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Poppy. Yo. That fing tap, main tap. We out of here, my mom. Like, I can't even imagine. Thanks for the follow, Super. Like, growing up in that type of situation, you reap what you sow. Like, you attract what you put out into this world. I know former drug dealers that are now millionaires in real estate. I know former bank robbers that are millionaires in business. You could be the street guy pushing up a lot of cash in the street. Your choice. There are consequences that come with that. There's dangers that come with that. You could be the legit business guy too. If you move those street skills into entrepreneurship, I think you're gonna have a safer, more sustainable lifestyle. Next folks, Heavy G, an entrepreneur in St. Louis who's quite a character. We'll see you there. Bro, what are you talking about, bro? We're here with the St. Louis legend, Heavy G. A big thing we're highlighting is entrepreneurship. What do you got cooking up over here? My food truck right here, selling uh, Rotel. That's, that's some little St. Louis, like some nachos type shit. And we selling my world famous drink, Whippy. This is how the Whippy look. I just, I've been doing this shit for one year as of last month. So this is my one year anniversary. It looked like drink, but it ain't, it ain't what, what you think. think. It, that's my newest flavor. I want you to try this. Mm. Far, I know. That's good. Thank How'd you invent this? You know, I'm a big influence in my city. I had brought some sodas back from Texas, like you did. You want to get some drinking shit. And Jay. I started selling the sodas for $20. Jay ready me. And the sodas ended up getting so popular over the city, everybody started buying them some Fagos. And the stock actually went up 10% <laughs> within the 30 days of me promoting it. So I'm like, damn, I ain't made no money off this, you know? So own it. Own so, your own shit. Yeah, and I knew I could do it. Because, you know, the Fago sodas was $2. So I'm like, I got to make all that money good, that I missed. So I'm making mine 25 the most expensive lemonade to ever drop on earth. Look, this the Rotel right here. Ooh. So what is this? on the chip ground beef and cheese yeah. Ooh, that sounds so good right now this is our culture this is what we do we eat we eat rotel take bitches to the hotel and make sure you <laughs> 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 this is the best exotic store in the midwest st louis missouri the midwest i'm standing on it this is the five dollar snack bro what do you use to make rotel what do you use to like make rotel like what the fuck? Oh, is it just right like here, cheese? How do you how do you, you make got your bag all the way right? They got the skittles without the shell. Crazy. This is what they selling in here. How do we get these in the St. Louis grocery stores? Because I feel like that's the next move for you. That's what everybody been telling me, but they so expensive. It's like, I feel like it'll, be, it'll cost an epidemic of people stealing these. How much do these cost? $25. Beef cost and Velveta $25. cheese. Yes, Nigga, you never had Rotel? Crazy. I have had it, but I don't know how to make it. At the same time, ain't nothing regular about it. It's mine. You will never get this taste anywhere else. Cheese, it's definitely delicious. But if I were Doritos. to tell my wife, mm. honey, I just spent $25 on lemonade, I, I feel like I would be in trouble. You would, until she see it. I'm gonna give you something for wifey too, just okay. so she can understand too. Okay, I'm shout out to Sweet Cheeks, okay? Yeah, shout out Sweet Cheeks. Yeah, like, <laughs> What's a lesson you've learned being an entrepreneur? Your debut day ain't gonna be Back, like that. Super. There's ups and downs, right? It's, yeah, and a lot of times you might have more downs than ups, but you gotta fight through it. We gotta go get this food, man. All right, we'll see you guys at the next stop. Bro, none of these niggas in here can cook, Richie. 
On my grin. Out of all these, which one you think you gonna like? First chicken. You gotta go. Nah, 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 nah. You gotta go. Yeah. Now you are officially a St. Louis nigga. All right, now wait, wait, you gotta get that thing. Don't be fooled. This is where it go down there, this side of town. Does it surprise you that St. Louis is the most dangerous city in America? Are we really good? <laughs> the next day, Heavy G sent me a text saying someone was shot and killed at a nearby BP. Very sad. Damn. An immigrant that was working hard at a gas station just got their life taken by a kid. So the Damn. danger here is absolutely real. Back to the video. I remember being five years old knowing that St. Louis is the number one for the murder rate. And I remember Detroit used to be like one or two. Like, we are always being competition. Back I just remember that. If you were mayor, what would you do to help the city be a little bit stronger, better, safer? The, the youth is who killing everybody. Yeah. The youth is who dying. The youth is who getting shot. And they are future. More fun, more concerts, more things for people to be interactive and not on their phone or not just posted up somewhere, like just sitting outside. There's, there's, there's a lot of people that live so much of their life just on their phone. The Second Amendment is the American right to bear arms. How do you feel about that? Well, you know, in Missouri, we got it real good and easy. As long as you over 18, you can have any gun you want. Yeah. That's what? why there's a lot of violence going on. Like, that's why, like, not that's why, but because it, it's going to be going on regardless. Yo. Any last one of us can go in the gun store and grab a gun. And on top of that, you can have your mama go get you a gun, and you can just have a gun at 18, 19. It's good as far as all these niggas on that, so you... Everybody can legally have a gun and so the plane Legit, feels you got equal, big, no yeah. homo. Damn right. Really? Y'all been putting in pain, man. What's good, lastly? Yeah, I got raided, lastly. I'm gonna have to get oh, boy, no living Jake. I used to sit on that motherfucker every day. We'll be 20, 40 deep out here. A lot of niggas been died down here. A lot of niggas been trapped down here. 5% of St. Louis has left the city. How often do you work out? You know what's crazy? I don't. I do not work out. It's too scary, too dangerous to raise a kid. What do you think about that? It is. I ain't gonna lie. The only person that could, that could How get How to this pronounce your username just legit? Me. I ain't gonna lie. The ops probably didn't roll past us since we've been out here. But they know I'm out here and <laughs> see the type of shit I'm doing. They'll call it off like it wouldn't be nothing. But... What do you mean that's sad? What do you mean that's sad? It's sad I got raided, my nigga? I didn't, I didn't ask for it. He just, you know what I'm saying? He decided to, he just decided to, you know what I'm saying? Like, what do you mean, my nigga? Y'all yeah, niggas be weird, cuz. Hey, you probably finna see one. Do you guys got any videos of that? This vehicle looks to be cutting through the back alleys right now. Going so fast, it ra it outran the chopper. Yeah, there's people who really be in a car running away from the helicopter. Yeah, yeah, it's it's fake Oh, shit. That's not real. Good news, I didn't get hit. Good news for you. You have a chance to win this auto. Bruh, that's Bullet fake ass rest. shit. Just a teacher. <laughs> Video. Yes. The chance to win this. Let the odds be in your favor. And now back to the video. Motherfucker was chasing me one time, shooting at me. I seen the police in the midst of getting shot at arm out the window, flagging them down. Kevin Bush. Police have to ride deep around here, right? There's no way they come here with one car. Why y'all keep doing this? It's the young guys that get the wrong attention. Yeah. How old is the average kid when they get their first? <laughs> he was in the now? car. Entering your team. Lastly. 13, 14. I ain't gonna lie. If somebody wanna do some gangster shit, they're gonna do it from the main street. I usually wear my Crocs to a video shoot today. I wore the f***ing Nikes for a reason. You trying to profit off the black struggle. Alright folks, this was your adventure through St. Louis. Heavy G, any words you got for the people to keep them motivated? Really to get gore? Excited. Man, be yourself. You won't need no help. Stay true to you. Alright folks, we'll see you next week. Peace. Alright folks, we got a badass merch nice, drop. Good video, man. Nice. It's cool or whatever. Cool or whatever. Anything else, man? I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit five hours and then do like a little hour on the tube.